Hey guys, Oliver here from Smiley Reacts. Here to react to the sixth episode of Fruits Basket Season 2. Are you really this stupid? So, uh, last episode, I believe it was... Um, uh, Udo Tony, yeah, Udo Tony. Um, she met this lovely guy... Um, I can't remember his name, I apologise. He's, in fact, actually, he hasn't appeared in the anime before. He did appear in the 2000, the original 2001, was it 2001? Uh, or 2006 uh, version of uh, Fruits Basket. Uh, let me just see if I can find the name very quickly. Uh... <laughs> Him. Nope. Um, uh, sorry, this is so many names. I think it was him. Nope. Uh, I know he was a Soma. It turned out he was a Soma. Um, no. That's who I was just looking at. Damn it, I can't find his name. Right, there he is. That's him. Um, uh, Carino, that's it. Yeah, so she actually fell head over heels in love with him. And he also fell like head over heels for her. I don't know if that um, romance is going to go anywhere. Um, but it was also very sweet. I was a bit concerned for um, her safety. A little bit because I am a bit wary of the fact that um, you know something may happen to Yutani or um, uh, even after two seasons like uh, one season and a little bit of this one I'm still struggling with names um, and I don't know why and uh, Hannah uh, Hannah Jeremiah yeah uh, um, Honda's uh, friends. I'm really concerned that something's going to happen to them, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Um, if that actually does happen, uh, indeed happen. Oh, and the last part of that uh, last episode was that we spent some time at a convenience store and also through a haunted house. But anyway, episode six, I really this stupid, let's begin. And the other thing I'll quickly say is that I do know that this is apparently going to be a beach episode. So without further ado, let's jump into it in three, two, one. I'll turn on the top subtitles if I have to. They? What are they? Don't scare Honda. Go and blast our way out of here, huh? Yeah, don't scare Honda like that in the middle of a storm. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, well, she's trying to eat watermelon. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to get any drama this episode or if it's going to be one of those episodes where it's going to tease me in the fact that it's going to be like a happy episode and then at the very end something's going to switch and it's going to get um, dramatic.
Oh, I love this OP. <laughs> it does get into my head. It's such an earworm, and I'm not going to apologize for that, for bobbing my head along to it. <laughs> Uh-huh. Summer's Vacation Houses. Okay. I think I remember that from the preview, actually. Summer Getaway. Hopefully it's not raining like today. <laughs> Where? What fantasy is he even having this there? <laughs> Hey. There, yeah, that's you pretty much invited everyone. Oh, was, I was just, just thinking, when are we going to see these two again? <laughs> it must be psychic or something because I was thinking about it. I didn't say anything. I should have said something. Let your hair down a little bit, so to speak. <laughs> I'm so, it's a good thing that uh, Honda is not afraid of uh, bugs. <laughs> no! <Nope. laughs> <laughs> Uh, homework problems, oh dear. Good question, right? Okay, well, I haven't seen him yet. This episode. I'm going to hear what's going to happen in the other room. Uh, well, that's going to get changed. That's going to change. Yes, tomorrow, to the vacation house. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's a good point. He didn't say no. <laughs> yes, he's being deadly serious about catching those beetles. Now you can go to the vacation house without having to worry about any homework. Hmm? I thought you've seen his her hat before. I think it was her mum's, if I remember correctly. Oh, okay, it's not. Does it belong to her mum? Hmm. I feel like I should know about a bit. Of that already, for some reason. Was it him? I think it may have been... I think it might have been Yuki. She has... Oh, uh, he hasn't. Yeah, I think that just confirms it. Hmm. 
Must be annoying to be interrupted all the time, though. <laughs> At least it's not raining. Are you actually going to get some work done, though? Ah! Full skill. Rin. Oh, okay. Interesting. What does she want? Hmm, that could mean anything. Oh, she, okay, that's what she, I know what she wants. It is, I was thinking it, but I didn't know if it was what I was thinking. Like, she clearly wants him. Not bad. Not bad, Toro. Not bad at all. They're always excited. He's a cat, remember? <laughs> That's why I forgot that he calls Honda uh, stupid. In a tight swimsuit. <laughs> you sorry, you, you're a child too. <laughs> That's a nice excuse. Shouldn't she? Yeah, I was wondering, uh, breathing. How did he jump from the beach to there? In one jump? Again, probably cat. It's probably because of the cat feature. Yeah, th thank you! Tara's having a great time. <laughs> She's so precious. Well, she's wrong, starters. I agree, Yuki, go in. Everyone should go in. Yeah, you do do that a lot, Yuki. Lose yourself in thoughts. Hmm. 
<laughs> no, you're going for a swim car. Not <laughs> if you doesn't matter if you don't want to or not. Yeah, Toro is always cute. <laughs> Doesn't take long to provoke uh co. <laughs> So that must be the summer, uh, summer house or vacation house. <laughs> I can. Hang on, so he's sulking. Oh. Yeah, don't lose that. I don't know much about his about her dad. Mm. She's going to say something to him now. Yeah. Yeah, she... Yeah. I'm liking her a lot. Exactly. Oops. Yep, you messed up, buddy. He needs to grow up a little bit. I think everyone in the show, buddy, has got deep, hiding deep things in their heart. No. No. Really? It really didn't occur to you that may be the case. <sighs> well, they were on her head, so they didn't hear. <laughs> True, but he kind of deserved it, in a way. You should apologize to Honda as well, you know. But he probably won't.
Well, it's true. We don't really we don't really know much about her father either. Hmm. Oh, Honda. Just want to give her a hug. <laughs> Sugar water. That's a rhinoceros beetle. <laughs> yeah, it's all right through you. I'm so glad that Ko could, see, because they, they, you know, Ko and uh, Yuki have spent the most time with her, with her. Of course, he's going to find out. Um, oh, they're going to realize there's something wrong. Hmm. Aren't you always ill? Ah, oh, there we go. If you do that, though... They're going to stand up to her at some point. He needs to be more careful. <laughs> Besides, Honda's there. Yeah, she can take care of him. playing with her hair. Oh, what would that be? Oh, what, what is it? Oh, if, you know, Echo is going to show up at the vacation home, that's going to throw a spanner in the works a bit, little bit, I think, considering the fact that she's got, you know, a plan and she wants to teach them a lesson. Supposedly. Well, not supposedly. Open the lid. Hmm.
I don't think bringing uh, Atiko to the um, summer home is going to be a good decision. But we'll see where this goes. Hmm. As I said, everyone in this show has uh, secrets and things that they've hidden away from others. And I have a feeling with this season, a lot of those, maybe a lot of those secrets are going to come to the forefront and be released, essentially open the lid. Um, what Attico, Attico, Ico is going to do is really going to destroy a few people, I think, and she's going to, well, not laugh it up. That does, she doesn't seem to be that sort of person, but she is definitely she's definitely a villain that's for sure and she's going to mess with honda and i reckon maybe ko and yuki mainly are going to come to her defense to save her and that's when you know the stormers really start to rip apart break apart I don't know. Oh, I don't know though. <clears throat> What's next? Watermelon splitting contest. Okay. Okay. I didn't need the top subtitles after all, which is good. Uh, close that. Um, good episode. Really good episode. It was just you know, every just your start off in start uh, starting off with your typical beach episode turned into bug hunting. Um. But we have learnt that um, Attico is up to something. He wants to uh, teach them a lesson. Um, I have also got the feeling that maybe... I could be com completely wrong with this, but judging by this episode, what happened in this episode, um, Horse Girl, which I think is... Is this her? Yeah, Rin. Um, she may have uh, slept with, um, uh, where is his name, his name, his name, I don't want to mention, I don't want to say the wrong name, uh, she, oh yeah, that's it, uh, Shigure, uh, Shigure, um, that definitely looks like the case, that's what she wanted, but then we jumped to, um, of course, Attico. Hmm. So I have a feeling maybe not next episode, but maybe at the end of next episode, um, Attico is going to show up at the villa, and that's when things are going to start to really take off. Um, but at the same time, maybe... Again, we're not asked because it's only episode six, though. Like, hmm. I think when it's a two-parter, and I'm going to assume that this is going to be 24 episodes, like season one. Um, it's usually in the second half when things really go south, and then slowly, you know, at the end of the season, get fixed up again. Um, hmm, but what could this plan of hers be? That is the question. What does she intend to do besides of it besides it being you know um not good um <laughs> hmm. all i know is that it's probably going to affect everyone really badly and um that's when um, i don't know like this in this situation i can't like, it's going to put, I reckon it's going to put Ko and Yuki mainly in the spotlight, meaning that they're going to have to make a choice between serving the Somers or um, helping Honda. Um, I have a feeling, of course, that it's going, they're of course going to help Honda and maybe even turn their backs on the Somers, but I don't 100% know yet. Obviously, this is all just speculation. Um, but, hmm. 
definitely this definitely raises a lot more questions uh more questions than answers at the moment we've barely had any answers um still find it kind of hilarious that i was thinking about um when will uh kiss her and um uh where's the other one's name using mal so there's a quite a few people oh nope nope oh hero yeah i was wondering when i those two were going to show up and i didn't say it out loud but then they showed up this episode so there we go um but maybe another thing i think will happen this season is that we're going to well at the very least hero is going to get like an arc pretty much like seen it uh in this episode like asking why like Honda's uh still got the photo of her mum and like like where's well, your dad which raises a good point I think he may be dead oh I think he may be dead too actually but we don't know anything about him um but at the end of near the end of this episode I should say um Hero, I think, was starting to realize that um, everyone has secrets, and I definitely liked the, um, the that point where, like, Ko went up to him and was like, like, hit him on the the, the back of the head, and was like, "What did you do? What did you say to Honda?" Essentially, that's pretty much what he said, and like, he was like what do you mean? Like, I didn't do anything. Like, yes, you did. Like, she looks more sad than usual. Um, and like, this is the point where I'm just like, I'm so glad that Ko and uh, Yuki spend a lot of time with Honda because th they can pick up on the slightest little differences now. Um, and you have to protect that sm the Honda smile. But I have a feeling that's going to be harder as we get along in this series when it comes to that, especially with uh, uh, Eiko involved. So, oh, I have no... And again, this is meant to be three seasons, so... We've, supposedly, anyway, because we've obviously season one's done and dusted, and we're on to season two now, so I think season one and two are... Again, 24, 25 episodes, and season three will be, um, which will probably happen next year, hopefully, fingers crossed, um, will only be 13 episodes, I think. I could be completely wrong with that. Um, but yeah, I think I've rambled on long enough. Um, I want to get a few thoughts out. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Again, don't spoil me too much. Like... I don't know if I'm on the mark with my thoughts or if I'm miles away. And yeah, this is the thing. Like, I just don't know what's going to happen. All I know is that <laughs> as I go through this series, my um, fear and adrenaline is going to go through the roof um, as things happen, just like with season one. So... <laughs> Yeah, uh, again, thank you for watching my reaction to episode 6 of season 2 of Fruits Basket. I will see you soon for some more reactions, guys. Have a good day as always. Bye.